So good morning and welcome to the ePerformance Training Academy Information Seminar Series. Uh, today's webinar is on uh, the Grants and Contributions Management Association. Their annual training conference is coming up uh, on June 1st. Uh, ePerformance is a sponsor in, in this uh, training conference. And today we have uh, Doug Hyde, the uh, uh, president of the GCMA and conference chairman, to give us a bit of a preview on what's, uh, what's going to be coming up in, in this uh, conference. So over to you, Doug. Thank you very much, Eric. Uh, if we can get the presentation up for this morning. Hi, everyone. Uh, so we'll just start about uh, GCMA. Uh, the idea for GCMA uh, was, sort of came about last fall. Um, and so GCMA is a nonprofit organization. Uh, the mission of GCMA is to promote best practices and the use of information technology in the management of grants, contributions, and and other funding mechanisms, uh, sort of those that are uh, towards the causes that relate to the achievement of social uh, environmental goals. Um, the idea behind GCMA is something that uh, certainly Eric and I and uh, others have talked about. The, the idea is that in five years we're going to start to build a network. Um, we're working towards a body of knowledge where we identify best practices. So to do that, we'll work collaboratively through the network. Uh, we'll start inside Canada, but the idea is in time we'll work uh, outside Canada. There are similar associations, for example, in the U.S. We'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, the, the goal is to identify different perspectives and work towards um, uh, a bo this body of knowledge. And, and those types of domains, uh, bodies of knowledge, exist in other areas. Project management is one uh, as a case in point. So once we have that body of knowledge, we'll begin to encourage integration of the practices by, by the members, the members uh, that we attract. We'll do it through training and a range of certification programs. So the conference is uh, the beginning of a long-term story with GCMA. And we'll be working to create links with the range of solution providers uh, to build, that build on the, the GCMA practices. So the GCMA is based on uh, a, a model that's similar in the U.S. It's called the National Grant Management Association. Uh, it's been around for a while in the U.S. It has membership from all levels of government and the pri private sector. So we're trying to mimic uh, in a similar way what, what's uh, going on with the NGMA. We're, we're working to do that in Canada. And it's, the role is really to provide a conduit between government and industry for the development of those best practices I mentioned earlier. And, uh, and tools that can help automate those practices. So in the short term, our objectives are to get some participation from those that are working to modernize their approaches to the delivery of, uh, of grants and, and contribution programming, uh, communicate and build on a lot of positive progress. Uh, there was a report done about 10 years ago called the Red Tape to Clear Results Report. And certainly at a federal level, there's been a lot of very positive progress in implementing many of the recommendations in that report. Um, and I think there's lots of opportunities to share those lessons um, and pick up on insights that people have offered through their work on models, tools, and other practices that will encourage and enable modernization work, not just federally or not just within the federal family, but uh, with provinces and even with private funders. So our first conference is, uh, I just put a high-level overview, overview of the agenda here. Um, the first day is sort of just talking about what we've been doing leading up to, uh, to this moment, a timeline on how we got to where we are now. And then we're going to spend a little bit of time going through a, a self-assessment tool called a scorecard, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But it's a way of kind of measuring progress and for us a, a mechanism by which we can identify uh, where there are some leading practices out, out in, in uh, the community. And we'll also discuss on sort of the key core aspects of program design. On day two, we're going to get into some uh, best practices around modeling mainly. We're going to talk about a performance model, a life cycle model, and uh, we're going to have somebody from TVS talk about the common model that they've been working on for GNC program delivery. Uh, on day three, we're going to uh, talk about best practice in the use of automation tools. And the one we're going to focus on is called Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Um, so that's in, in, uh, uh, at a high level, that's the agenda for the conference. So the self-assessment scorecard, it's a, a tool we've worked on. It's an evidence-based tool. And it basically enables organizations to do fairly rapid assessments of their efforts to modernize in relation to the, uh, the Red Tape to Clear Results report. 
so it builds on the recommendations in that report. Uh, GCMA is not conducting those assessments, um, but what we're going to encourage in time is the sharing of those assessments so that we can uh, identify leading practices and establish benchmarks in the community. So we will be working with folks through a case example at the conference, and uh, at the end of that, our intention is to ask folks to comment on the methodology part of making sure it, uh, it makes sense to everyone and uh, building towards the best practice. So I put here an example of how the scorecard, once it's completed, would result. Um, we've broken the themes. They follow somewhat the themes in the red tape to result, uh, their results report. Um, there are sub-themes, so we've broken it into those areas. We look at both the state and trend of efforts to modernize within an organization or a program, and uh, we look at the confidence of the information or the evidence used to make the assessments. So you can see here in some cases the, the uh, confidence is low, and where confidence or where the evidence is inadequate, then there's no score, and it's clear an area clearly where either more evidence has to be gathered or there needs to be more work done. Uh, the, the states uh, are the colors, the trends are the arrows. Two arrows indicate a uh, change in states likely to occur within the next five years. Uh, single arrows indicate uh, uh, an improvement in state, but it's not clear that that will lead to a change in state within the five-year timeline. Um, the colors are just a way of visualizing the results of the scoring. So, and, then, and, and we'll explore this methodology at the, uh, at the conference. So on days in, uh, two and three, we're going to talk about models and tools. Day, day two will really be looking at models and uh, models that are now being used at different organizations in Canada. Um, we're using the models sort of as a conceptual framework, and to be fair, we're actually thinking about how to integrate different models build, as a set of building blocks for the body of knowledge. So we're, we're using that conceptual framework to sort of lay out the, the uh, skeleton, and on that we'll build the body of knowledge. But we'll talk about those models, and then from the models, we'll walk into specific technology implementation on day three, and we're going to be using a dynamic CRM to do that. So this is an example of a conceptual model. It, uh, it's one that was developed by uh, the regional development agencies, working uh, on the basis of a reference model for grants and contributions prepared by Treasury Board Secretariat. Um, and it's interesting, it, it just has a high level, it, it, it really builds on earlier thinking, I think around the eight A's. Uh, so there's been a lot of thinking about the, frame, the framework around submissions to grants or contribution programs are either organized, managed, um, and how programs are designed to support it. We're going to explore the linkage to Dynamic CRM as a tool to enable parts of that model, and you can see along the outer circ circumference of the slide are different ways in which uh, Dynamics can support the reference model. And there are, we're going to make some specific ties to topics that are going on at the workshop and that are kind of uh, um, uh, seem to be priority topics in the community at the moment, and there's four here. So in summary, uh, GCMA is a nonprofit. Uh, it's going to be focused on the effect, effective and efficient management of grants and contributions. It's, uh, uh, promoting collective solutions as they're developed by its members and other leading practitioners. It'll be multi-stakeholder, uh, multi multi-faceted in terms of its look at how the agencies are being managed. There's a lot of practice out there and there's some very different business. And uh, the conference we're holding in June is a starting point for that work. And that's all I have to say. If there are any questions, please, please answer. Thanks, Doug. Uh, sounds like it will be a very interesting conference for grants and contributions professionals to get together and uh, share better practices. Uh, we have a few minutes, uh, and we've left the uh, the lines on uh, unmuted. So if you'd like to, uh, if you have any questions uh, for Doug, uh, he'd be happy to take them now.